Crude oil looking unstoppable. WTI above 90 bucks. Let's trade with Bob Iaccino, founder, chief strategist to Path Trading Partners. Told us it had at least a couple more bucks to go last time we talked. Well, what's the status here, Bob? Yeah, 91.35 was my uh, my target, Oliver. So. Uh, whenever I get a target just above a round number like that, I'll generally take that trade off somewhere around 91 if we hit there. This is typical. It doesn't matter. I've been doing this got 27, 28 years now. Anytime I get near a target, I want to exit it early. It's completely a natural feel <laughs> for people to say, oh, it's just a little bit more. I'll just get out and, you know, I'll feel better about being out of the trade because there's always that little bit of you that thinks if it doesn't get to a target, you're just going to feel like an idiot watching it collapse all the way back down. But I'm not going to do it i'm trailing it and i'm not in with the people that think 100 and goldman sachs saying 107 i don't see that happen happening coming out of the summer driving season now that's acknowledging that china is starting to reignite a little bit the data's gotten a little better and they were kind of accumulating crude oil the whole time anyway there's a number of geopolitical situations that could push crude in either direction i mean guiana for example is predicted to be at three million barrels a day in the next five years uh, they're already up above a million barrels a day so there's more supply that wasn't planned on coming in but at the end of the day the demand is going to grow in emerging markets continue to grow globally and the supply is going to be outstripped especially if saudi arabia and russia just don't budge off those production cuts although they didn't do them last month mm. now uh they also though haven't added production on right i mean that's part of the case here what on the supply side is still lingering out there what, what kind of headlines should we be looking for uh and from whom well part of what bothers me is when you looked at nigeria and iran last month they pumped out together almost four and a half million barrels a day and the upgrade the uh excess production from Iran actually almost outstripped all of Saudi Arabia's cuts. Saudi Arabia promised to cut 100,000, they cut 88,000. And then when you look at OPEC's production on a whole last month, about 24, 25,000 barrels per day more than in July. So when you're looking at that, they talk about these production cuts, but the, the oil's there. It continues to hit. Now, Hurricane Lee is is pushing our Bob gasoline futures higher, which is where the consumer starts to feel it. So you want to see that. Hurricane Lee's heading right toward the Irving Refinery, which is Windsor, Canada. It's their largest refinery, their most active refinery. And then you've got the cheaper winter blend gasoline that's about to come in. So that should sort of push refined product prices down, and that spread will actually push crude oil prices down. But again, when you look at China and how they're starting to kind of uh, resurge later than people thought that summer demand from China might be turning into a fall and winter demand from China. That's the demand side that might affect it. But you do kind of view it as coming, basically, that um, at some point they're going to have to get their house in order, essentially, right? Stimulus, maybe of some sort? I do. See, the problem with like a firm like Goldman's $107 target, they can leave it up there for two years and then say they were right when it gets there. <laughs> but at yep. the same time, you could, see, you could see us push off of 91, 92, 93, back down to the mid 80s, back down to the low 80s without any problem at all, in which case then the bears will come screaming in and saying that everybody was wrong. So that's why, from my perspective, I like talking to you every week and telling you, you know, I'm going to be out of this at this point. Doesn't mean that it's not going to go higher. It just means that probability is not on my side anymore. Okay, but you're not shorting it once we get to that 91.35? No, absolutely not. The fundamentals are still for higher crude in the medium to long term. Just in the short term, I think we're a little over down to the upside. All right, there it is. Thanks, Bob. Always love the check-in. All right, good stuff. Nice call on crude, too. Bob Chino, Path Trading Partners.